Hello and welcome viewers to this CMD course video and if you didn't subscribe to our CMD course playlist so please subscribe the whole playlist so you can watch the previous video we have covered the other commands in those videos so for today in this video we have the command tree shutdown history so we will cover those commands that can already help you to check the previous command you executed and the command related to check the whole directory of any drive of any folder so without even wasting time let's quickly move to the windows 10 machine here let me run the cmd with the administrator privilege so it is simple as you know right click on the cmd and run as admin now there on the cmd the first command we're, we're going to execute here is a tree so let's say for example if you want to check the folder the directories and the subdirectory because you know in any of your folder you also create some other folders and even with the file when you install any program any application into your machine it also created folders then the subfolders and that that subfolders contains your executable files so let's say if i type dir under this administrator folder you could see these folders but definitely there are some other subfolders that are in that folder so let's say for example if you want to check any directory or any executable file and you are guessing that this might be here in that sub in that main folder and you're not sure about the subfolder or the exact location of that file so the command tree will help you to know this and you just only type tree and press enter so there you can see it is providing you the subfolder detail within this administrator folder let's say you wanna know about the whole directories having in your program files or in your windows so which command you're going to use tree so what it will does it will collect every file every subfolder and display to you in a form of tree that in which folder there's a subfolder and then other folders and then it will reach it will show you that which executable file and which file is located and at which subfolder and which is originated with that specific folder and you can easily figure out by using this tree command and as you can see here that it cover any every folder of your c drive and provide us the file locations and all the structure you could say and this is the tree what we call so in this way you could easily use this command to know about the directories you have in your any folder or in any drive now after that we have another command and the command is simple date if you want to change the date of your system if you feeling that the date is changed and it's not correct so you can change and if the days days dates is already correct and you don't want to change so simply copy that provided date under this new provided section so it will set this new date as the current date and in this way we have a similar command time so if you feel that the time is not correct on your system so you could change otherwise if the time is right and really on your standard time base so you could go with that so the time is changing that way because most of the time when you're using your browsers and if the date and time is not correct they start providing error and they stop working and the error is shown like that the police must change your time and set according to your standard time then this browser or internet will work so in such situation you got stuck and you get in that mess where to open the time settings and you could open control panel and it definitely to, it will take time to reach on that specific window or GUI option but here in the CMD you have basic commands date and time and in this way you could easily set the time and just update your date and time settings so then after we have another command to check the history of previously executed command 
let's say you run a lot of commands and somehow you missed any command or you want to see the CMD that which command I used before that command and that sort of things and you want to be sure about all the commands that you executed or run so there's a command task key forward slash history press enter so it can list for you all the command you want to see you want to write down or you want to notice that all such commands that you executed will be displayed in a form of list and you could easily watch and if you're creating any document you're preparing any sort of file any history of the commands so you can prepare from that command so it will help you to track your history of the commands that you executed on your CMD after that we have another command and this is quite different and typical because this command will shut down this machine so it is related to turn off and power off the system but there is some argument that you can add that make it more logical and more helpful so the command is shut down and if you press shut down s so the, it, this definitely means that you want to shut down your machine but there is another argument you could add here is dash t so if you add this dash t it will allow you to add seconds that after what seconds you want to shut down your machine so you can add if you want if you doesn't want to add any seconds you just want a quick shutdown and in, inst in an instant so you can type double zero so it will take no time to shut down your machine but if you have planned something or you're leaving for something and the required timing for that installation let's say for example you're deploying a software and it is providing the estimated time for that deployment it is about 10 or 20 minutes and you know how much seconds in the 10 and 20 minutes so then you can easily add some more time considering that estimated time and provide that seconds here in the form of seconds second unit then what will happen after that time reach the machine will go automatically shut down and that's the best way to shut down your machine when you off from your desk when you are not on your desk and you feel that I won't come on that specific time so once this whole deployment whole process is done my machine is supposed to be shut down so in such cases you can use this command and add the timing to automatically shut down your machine so I'm not going to do that because you know this will shut down my machine and in the same way you if you add dash r so it will restart your machine in the same way if you add time t for time and provide some seconds for restart so it will do the same but it won't shut down your machine it will restart your machine so these are the commands we want to cover in this video and must tell us and please tell us i would say in the comment section how you are feeling about this videos and the commands we are covering and at least if you watch all the videos from one to this video you would have a better idea of CMD and after completing this whole playlist whole course video you will be master at the command line so stay with us and don't forget to press the bell icon subscribe our channel and also subscribe the play playlist and share those videos to all those who are not good at command line and not good at cmd and want to know about the commands and how to do things quickly with the keys so do share those videos and in the end i'm going to show you all these commands so you can easily write and note somewhere for your help Thanks for watching.